Hello, welcome to another module of the Osmosis course. In this lecture, you will be introduced to how hydropower and storage can be modeled in osmosis. On this slide, the overall structure of this course and its modules is presented. These lectures are used to guide you through all the basic necessary steps to understand the elements of an energy system and how they can be represented in, osm in an osmosis model. Please keep in mind that during this training our objective is the creation of a country model. Therefore, some information will be provided in relation to, to a country level model. However, there are no restrictions to the definition of, a, of the model boundaries in osmosis. During this lecture, you will be guided through the basic concept of a hydropower plant. This is followed by an introduction to different types of hydropower plants. You will then get introduced to the technical parameter that characterize a hydropower plant. This will then be put into a concrete explanation of how to model runoff river and hydrogen power plants in osmosis. So let's start from the fundamental definition of a hydropower plant. This is a general figure of a hydropower plant, but it does not need to have a reservoir. And there is also, apart from what we are showing here, pumped storage and runoff river hydropower plants. How to model these will be explained later. The fundamental principle of a hydropower plant is to convert the kinetic energy of water that is flowing from a higher to a lower location to mechanical and then electrical energy. In the graphic we see on the left hand side water at a higher elevation than the water on the right hand side. In between we see a dam through which the water has to pass to continue its way through the river. In the dam, the water passes through the turbine, which converts the kinetic energy of the water to mechanical energy. This then drives a generator, which converts the mechanical energy to electricity. The electricity is then fed into the transmission system. Let's now have a look on the different kinds of hydropower plants that exist. On this slide, we are going to look at the classification of hydropower plants based on structural issues and the category of load the power plant is intended to satisfy. First, we are looking at runoff river hydropower plants. These are channeling flowing water from a river through a channel or a penstock to spin a turbine. Typically, a runoff river plant will have little or no storage facility. Runoff River provides a continuous supply of electricity, base load, with some flexibility of operation for daily fluctuations in demand. The second type we are looking at is storage hydropower. These plants facilities use a dam to store water in a reservoir. Electricity is produced by releasing water from the reservoir through a turbine which activates a generator. Storage hydropower provides base load as well as the ability to be shut down and started up at short notice according to the demands of the system, peak load. It can offer enough storage capacity to operate independently of the hydrological inflow for many weeks or even months. The next type we are looking at is hydropump storage. These facilities provide peak load supply. They are harnessing water which is cycled, cycled between a lower and an upper reservoir by pumps, which use sur surplus energy from the system at times of low demand. When electricity demand is high, water is released to the lower reservoir through turbines to produce electricity. On this slide, we see three different types of hydropower plants, which are distinguished by the head. A low head implies that the reservoir could be almost completely emptied, while a high head allows only a relatively small amount of the reservoir content to be used for power generation. This has also implications on the operation of the power plant. 
A low head offers the option to store energy by holding back water. This stored energy can be used flexibly to balance the electricity system. However, the higher the head, the less flexible the operation will be. Hydro dams can work as single stage power plants or in a hydrological sequence. When the runoff from a single hydropower plant is diverted back into the river or for any other purpose other than power generation, the setup is known as single stage, as shown on the left hand side. When two or more hydropower plants are used in a series, such that the runoff discharge of one hydropower plant is used as the intake of the other second hydropower plant, such as a, such a system is known as cascade hydropower plant. Hydropower plants with reservoir can also fulfill more than the purpose of producing electricity. For example, water supply, irrigation and or flood control, as shown on this slide.